Hello friends. Well, I am Sunil Ranjan and in this session I have come up with the word sharp S H A R P. And there are many sentence structures that will be coming up one by one. So sharp S H A R P. And the meaning is having a fine edge or point. So sharp means having a fine edge or point. Sudden and rapid. That is another meaning. Sudden and rapid. And the third meaning is strong and slightly bitter or sour in taste. So that is another meaning. I repeat strong and slightly bitter or sour in taste. And another meaning is clear. So sharp also means clear. And it also means intelligent or quick. And another meaning. So you notice there are so many meanings coming up of the word sharp. And the next meaning is critical. So when we are sharp about someone, we are critical about the person. And the last one is severe. Means very harsh. So these are the different meanings of the word sharp. Now, I'm using them in sentences. So, number one, sentence number one goes, take a sheet of paper and a sharp pencil. Take a sheet of paper and a sharp pencil. So, sharp pencil means the pointed pencil. Huh? So, sharp pencil means finely pointed pencil. So, we say, take a sheet of paper and a sharp pencil. Now, Another sentence goes, there has been a sharp rise in crime. There has been a sharp rise in crime these days in the city. So, there has been a sharp rise in crime means the number of crime cases has increased. So, we say that there has been a sharp rise in crime these days in the city. Now, the third sentence she heard a sharp intake of breath. Means somebody was breathing. So, the girl or the lady, she heard a sharp intake of breath. Means somebody, somebody was breathing in. So, she heard the sound of that. So, the sentence goes, she heard a sharp intake of breath. Now, the four sentences. The photograph he has taken is not very sharp. I repeat, the photograph he has taken is not very sharp, means it is not very clear. So, uh, the line goes that the photograph is not very sharp. This means the photograph is not very crisp or clear. Now, the next sentence, and I hope you are getting what I am trying to say in this video. So, number five. She drew a sharp distinction. She drew a sharp distinction between public life and private life. Now, there are two lives, the private life and the public life. So, she has drawn a distinction, means a different, a sharp difference, means they are completely different, the public life and the private life. Now, coming on to the next sentence, they have brought the issue into sharper focus means they have highlighted the issue. So, the sentence goes, they, they have brought the issue into sharper focus, means they have highlighted the issue. Now, the next sentence, and I hope you are getting what I am trying to say. Now, the next sentence is, he, he is pretty sharp. He is pretty sharp, means he is very intelligent. So, he is pretty sharp. You won't be able to fool him. Means he is intelligent enough not to be fooled by you. So, the sentence is, he is pretty sharp. So, anyone can be pretty sharp. So, the sentence is, you won't be able to fool him. This means, he is so intelligent that it is not possible to fool him. So, now the next sentence is, he felt a sharp pain in his back. Sharp pain means too much pain, acute pain. So, he felt a sharp pain, pain in his back when he bent over. 
means when he lowered his body, he felt a sharp pain on his back. So we have the sentence over. Now coming on to the next sentence, he almost uh, there is a sharp turn coming up. So you had better slow down. So there is a sharp turn means you are driving somewhere and a sharp turn is coming means the bend is moving very sharply. So uh, a straight bend just you don't have time to think much and the bend is there. So sharp bend. So we say the sentence is there is a <laughs> yeah the there is a sharp turn coming up, so you have better slow down. So there is a sharp turn coming up, so you have better slow down. Means it's better if you slow down because there is a sharp turn ahead. So you have to be careful enough. Now the next sentence is number 10. And the sentence is he almost lost control. He almost lost control of the car going round a sharp corner. Now a corner also can be sharp. So the sentence is, he almost lost control of the car. He almost lost control of the car going around a sharp corner. So this is the sentence. Now number 12. We need to sharpen this knife. Means you are carrying a knife, you are holding a knife in your hand and you are saying, uh, we need to sharpen this knife. I can't cut anything with it because the knife is not sharp enough. So we need to sharpen this knife. So <laughs> we, we need to sharpen this knife and sharpen is the verb of the word sharp. Sharp is adjective and here sharpen is the verb made from the word sharp. So we need to sharpen this knife. I can't cut anything with it. So the person is showing his inability to cut anything with that knife because it is not sharp enough. Now, number 13, make sure you sharpen your pencils before the test begins. Make sure that you sharpen your pencils before the test begins. Of course, if there is a test, you have to have your pencil ready. So if it is, if it is not sharp, you need to sharpen it before the test so that you can take the test comfortably. So make sure you sharpen your pencil before the test begins. Now the next sentence comes up here is, her sharp eyes charmed everyone at the party. Her sharp eyes means she was looking very beautiful in her with her eyes. Her eyes were very beautiful huh? and the way she was looking so that charmed everybody there and so her sharp eyes means her beautiful eyes very fine features perhaps she had had. So her sharp eyes charmed everybody at the party. So we have this sentence. Now, sentence number 15. So we have finished 14 sentences already and I am coming up with more sentence structures. And the, <laughs> the next sentence is, it, is it was very sharp of you to see that. It was very sharp of you to see that. Means you were very intelligent and you noticed something. So the sentence goes, it was very sharp of you to see that. Now, number 16. She has a razor sharp brain. Means her brain is very sharp. She has that um, mentally she is very uh, in, uh, sharp. This means she is very intelligent. So she has a razor sharp brain. Means she can analyze anything uh, in no time. So. She has a razor sharp brain, means her understanding, her level of understanding is very high. She understands everything very, very quickly. Okay, so we have the next sentence coming up here is, Her sharp tongue makes people uncomfortable. Her sharp tongue. Now, if your tongue is sharp, this means uh, if when you speak something, uh, then you may be speaking bluntly or so people don't feel comfortable while talking with you. So uh, sharp tongue means 
the way of speaking that is offensive. People don't like it. So her sharp tongue makes people uncomfortable. Of course, nobody will feel comfortable uh, <laughs> when somebody is having a sharp tongue. So now number 18 and number 18 we have is he was very sharp with me when I was late. He was very sharp with me when I was late. So sharp with me means he was very serious with me or maybe he would turn harsh also because I was late. So he was sharp with me. He was sharp with me when I was late. Very sharp rather. So this is the sentence when I was late. Number 19. There was a sharp knock on the door means somebody was knocking very hard on the door. So there was a sharp knock on the door. So we can use it like this also. Now, next is number 20. He winced as a sharp pain shot through his leg. Means immediately he had a pain in his leg and ah! So this is winced. Huh? So we had he, he winced as a sharp pain shot in his leg. Shot through his leg. So, he winced as a, as a sharp pain shot through his leg. Now, next sentence we have here is, Her sharp features fascinated him. Of course, women are beautiful and when they have sharp features, naturally everyone gets fascinated. So, the sentence is, Her sharp features fascinated him. Means he liked the sharp features of the lady. Now, we have the next sentence, Bill Gates. Of course, everybody knows who Bill Gates is. So, the richest person on this planet. So, the sentence is, Bill Gates is a superb analyst. Of course, the top people, they, their analytical power is normally very high. So, Bill Gates is a superb analyst with a sharp eye and an excellent memory. I repeat, Bill Gates is a superb analyst with a sharp eye and an excellent memory. So, Bill Gates, of course, sharp eye means very intelligent, very keen about things and he remembers everything, most of the things. So, that is said here, an excellent memory. Now, sentence number 24. So, I hope you are getting on well with me. So, we have number 24. Tennis requires a lot of sharp, sharp movements. Tennis requires, of course, tennis is the game and you have to dribble the ball. So, tennis has, requires a lot of sharp, short, sharp movements. So, you have to move the ball very fast. So, we have sharp movements, which means very quick movements. Next sentence is, he needs time to regain his sharpness. He needs time to regain his sharpness, means to get his health back, he will take time. So his sharpness means the movement he had in his body. It will take time to get back to that same form. So the sentence goes, he needs time to regain his sharpness. And number 26, now we have profits fell sharply following the takeover of the company. Now this sentence is from the business world. And profits fell sharply means profits came down sharply following the takeover of the company. So the company was taken over by some other organization. So profits fell sharply means profits came down. So now question number, now sentence number 27. The road fell sharply to the sea. Now this is a bit literary type of sentence. The road fell sharply to the sea. Means there was sea ahead and it fell sharply means moved very sharply towards the sea. So there was a sudden turn and that moved towards the sea. Now 28 sentences. The temperature drops, drops sharply at night. So when you get nights. The temperature drops means the temperature comes down and it comes down uh, very fast. So the sentence is the temperature drops sharply at night. So 
We have the 29th sentence coming up. The wind blew across the lake in sharp gusts. In sharp gusts means it was blowing hard. The wind was blowing hard. So the wind blew across the lake. Of course there is a lake and the wind blew across the lake in sharp gusts means it was blowing hard. So the sentence came here and the last sentence uh, well, my friends, I don't think, <laughs> I don't know whether you are getting bored or you are liking whatever I am trying to say in this video. Well, and the 30th sentence is, there is no point lying to her. Means you can, there is no point lying to her, she is much too sharp. Means she is so intelligent that she will catch what if you tell a lie. So, there is no point lying to her, she is much too sharp. This means she is very, very sharp. So, my dear friends, thank you for watching and listening to me. And in the next video, I will be coming up with more interesting sentence structures with different words. Thank you.